Hello everyone, welcome. You likely found your way here because your life has been touched by child loss, and for that I am so very sorry. When my only daughter Cassidy died, my whole world came crashing down. In the darkness and the chaos of my unrecognizable life, I began desperately searching for a space to continue loving her. There was no getting over it, because grief is truly the price you pay for love. Child loss has been the single biggest emotional experience my life has trusted me with. It is among the most devastating experiences a human being can face, and each person affected I know copes in a different way because the relationships we have with our children are really as unique as each of their lives. I understand this, as others who are on the same journey can even begin to relate And I've learned that there is great healing in sharing our journeys. Never did I imagine my story to share would be about losing my daughter and the lifetime of grief that now follows. So a little bit about me before we get started. In 2014, the unthinkable happened to our family when my daughter Cassidy was suddenly taken from us. She was just 17 With a whole bright future ahead of her, you'll learn so much more about Cass from time to time in this podcast. My son Colby was just 15 when his only sibling and his best friend died. October 11th, it was a classic New England autumn evening, I remember, and Cass and her friends were so excited to travel to a Halloween attraction. It's about 60 miles from our home in central Maine. But innocent fun turned tragic when the hayride they were riding on, being hauled by a jeep with faulty brakes, lost control and it careened down a steep embankment and it ejected all of its passengers. Cassidy was the only person lifelated to a local hospital. I just remember people filling an emergency waiting room, holding hands, praying it wasn't true. But it was, and Cassidy did not survive. It's still really hard to talk about. But just like that, without any warning, she was gone. And I remember my last words to her before she left that day were, Because I love you, Cass. In the months and the years after Cassidy's passing, I read a lot of grief books, trying to make sense of the anxiety and the despair and the anger, the confusion and the deepest pain I have ever experienced. I journaled, keeping meticulous notes, details about the darkness that followed, and the light that slowly emerged from the love of so many friends in our community. Grief can be such a lonely place, even when you're surrounded by love. I have always hoped to write a book one day, and who knows, I still may, but a friend encouraged me to explore podcasting as a means of providing healing for others and maybe even help reconnect the pieces of my own shattered heart. So I decided to share this vision with my 21-year-old son, Colby. His reaction was both unexpected and so touching. He said without hesitation, that's amazing, mom. You could really help someone. And if that validation wasn't enough, his brave, young, compassionate, and broken heart reached right out and said, let's do it together. So here we are, sharing our love and our loss as partners in grief and hoping to encourage others to hold the light with us. Whether you're a newly bereaved parent, or maybe you've been living with your loss for a lifetime, or perhaps you're trying to support a grieving family, my hope is that you find something that speaks to you, validates your feelings, maybe leaves you with more feelings of empowerment and feeling less alone. I'm not a counselor or a mental health expert on the topic, but I am living a life of grief. And unfortunately, so is my son. 
This is real life. We will talk with other people who are holding space for lives they have lost and who too can offer real perspective. I think it's so healing. For years, I envisioned a place for parents and siblings to share their love and their loss. And I kept asking myself, if I could even help one person feel less alone, wouldn't that be worth it? I think so. And I have to try. So this is my big hope I am sharing with all of you who are listening today. Because long after the funeral procession and the last prayer, the fundraisers and the memorial tributes, when the comfort food has stopped arriving and you finally braved going to the grocery store alone again, you are left to face a world you no longer recognize. And you need someone to meet you right where you are. Colby and I are celebrating her life by sharing this space with you to talk about our grief and yours, to listen and learn from each other, and be a resource for hope and healing. I am so glad and honored you've decided to come along. We are here together, holding the light. I leave you now with the words of Cindy Bullins who expresses the loss of her own child with this deeply meaningful song, As Long As You Love, Scarlet Wings. Time has a different meaning now Since you found your scarlet wings Forever seems like yesterday But only angels know these things I can hear your voice sometimes at night And it echoes through the day When my soul cries out for missing you I remember what you say As long as you love You will see me in the stars As you look up at the stars As 
long as you love, you will understand the rain. You must bless the falling rain. As long as you love. As long as you.